Karl Marx, the German ideology, preface. Hitherto men have constantly made up for themselves false conceptions about themselves, about what they are and what they ought to be. They have arranged their relationships according to their ideas of God, of normal man, etc. The phantoms of their brains have got out of their hands. They, the creators, have bowed down before their creations. Let us liberate them from, their chim from the chimeras, the ideas, dogmas, imaginary beings under the yoke of which they are pinning away. Let us revolt against the rule of thought. Let us teach men, says one, to exchange these imaginations for thoughts which correspond to the essence of man, says the second, to take up a critical attitude to them, says the third, to knock them out of their heads and existing reality will collapse. These innocent and childlike fancies are the kernel of the modern young Hegelian philosophy which not only is received by the German public with horror and awe, but is announced by our philosophic heroes with, with the solemn consciousness of its cataclysmic dangerousness and criminal ruthlessness. The first volume of the present publication has the aim of uncloaking these sheep who take themselves and are taken for wolves, of showing how their bleating merely imitates bleating merely imitates in a philosophic form the conceptions of the German middle class how the boasting of these philosophic commentators only mirrors the wretchedness of the real conditions in Germany it is its aim to debunk and discredit the philosophic struggle with the shadows of reality which appeals to the dreamy and muddled German nation once upon a time, a valiant fellow had the idea that men were drowned in water only because they were possessed with the idea of gravity. If they were to knock this notion out of their heads, say by stating it to be a superstition, a religious concept, they would be sublimely proof against any danger from water. His whole life long, he fought against the illusion of gravity of whose harmful results all static statistics brought him new and manifold evidence. This valiant fellow was the type of the new revolutionary philosophers in Germany.